does the Brexit really mean for the average American? Ryan Kath is live in the Satellite Center tonight with some answers. Ryan? Well, David, this is definitely uncharted territory, but financial advisors say it should also be a wake-up call to get our economic houses in order and then hold on for what could be a wild ride. Most people are worried about the economy. They're worried about jobs right now, and these little shocks don't make us feel better. Coastal Capital Financial Advisor David Caruso has that right. A lot of people are more than nervous. This has long-term ramifications because it could slow down the worldwide economy. It is going to create currency disorders. World markets hit the skids after the Brexit news. Caruso says most people should hold firm, that is, if they have a diversified plan. He says think of your money held in three buckets. With these buckets, it's short-term, intermediate term, long term. Short and intermediate term covers money you'll need in the next year to five years. That should be in the money markets even though they're not paying much and that should be in the CDs because you need that money. It's only your long term money that should be in stocks. If you're investing in stocks and it's less than a five year time frame, it probably isn't a smart thing to do. Crusoe says today should be a wake up call for everyone to check whether their money is in the right buckets. But there are also other major forces at play. Trade will be affected, U.S. exports could be hurt, and if Americans are scared and spend less, the economy and jobs will suffer. So if we do slow down and there is a recession, it's going to make it more difficult. But it's not all bad. Interest rates will probably stay low, which is good news for house hunters and loan shoppers. There is going to continue to be more volatility than there has been in the past, and that's the new order that we're living under. And a key point here, this is not a one-day mess. England's exit from the EU could be messy and take a couple of years, and other countries may also decide to bail out. And with an interconnected world, we're going to feel it. So for those of us on this side of the pond, advisors say it's important to keep saving and diversify. Live in the Satellite Center, Ryan Kath, WBZ News.